Hello, I'm Emily Spaven. This is your Week in Tech. We're filming from the London office and showroom of Made.com, an e-commerce platform for designer furniture. In investment news, iWalker, a finance lender for SMEs, closed a £21 million Series C funding round. Led by Prime Ventures, the round brings the firm's total funding raise to £38 million. Imaginatively named live streaming platform TV Player closed a £5 million round. Existing investors, including Beringia, took part alongside leader of the round A&E Networks. Glaswegian CRM platform Swipey secured $2.5 million. The firm, which helps small merchants increase customer loyalty, hopes to use the new funding to expand across the UK. Other investments this week include credit score provider Ayr's $2 million round, the £1.5 million Series A by Cambridge-based health tech startup Helix, recruitment tech firm Gig's £1 million seed and clean tech startup Switchy's £605,000 seed. Big international stories of the week include the acquisition of data management platform Crux by Salesforce. The customer management software giant acquired Crux for an eye-watering $700 million. The deal would enable Salesforce to extend its audience segmentation and targeting capabilities. Google also made an announcement this week using a keynote event to unveil its new phone. Called Pixel, the handset features unlimited photo storage, a 12 megapixel camera and it comes in three colours. Very silver, quite black and really blue. The Chancellor of the Exchequer, Philip Hammond, announced at the Conservative Party conference that £220 million would be allocated to boosting the UK's technology sector. During his speech, the Chancellor said £100 million would be used to help life science firms make a commercial success of their medical technologies. The remaining £120 million will be used to stimulate collaboration between universities and businesses. Our download of the week is Gideon Smart Home. From entertainment to security, users can control all their smart home devices from a single app. Compatible with a wide range of smart home devices, features of the app include multi-home management and energy consumption monitoring. For more on the smart home, keep an eye out for the upcoming PropTech issue of our quarterly print magazine. And finally, Toyota has launched a baby robot to provide companionship to people in Japan following plummeting birth rates in the country. Using artificial intelligence and a camera, the baby bot can recognise faces and react to human emotion. Cute or a bit weird? I'll leave that to you to decide. That's all for this episode of The Week in Tech. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more of the same and follow us on Twitter.